The pen tool. Today we're gonna learn about the pen tool in Sketchable app. What is it, how do we use it, and why do we need it? This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I am a 2D illustrator, and I'm here to walk you through the pen tool in Sketchable app. Let's get started by opening Sketchable. Available on all Windows 10 devices from the Microsoft Store. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use the pen tool and show you how I like to use it when it comes to sketching or even coloring. And so let's go ahead and create a new layer. I've already turned down the opacity on this layer, so it's very, very faint. On this new layer, layer we're going to go ahead and use the pen tool. Uh, fine ballpoint ultra ballpoint bold pen and hairline pen I really like the hairline pen or sometimes even the bold pen if you turn down the opacity you can uh, build up the drawing slowly see that there we go if you turn down the flow then you get a little extra texture that we can make adjustments on if you guessed it over here in the brush settings that happen to come out over here on the right hand side. So it is uh, already at a uh, high point, so I'm cool with that. This is a very sharp point right here, pointing, yes. Mm, let me try that one. Try that one. Yes. What I like about the pen tool, and I'm gonna show you my drawing, in my drawing, is that you can build up the, the illustration or the sketch or the drawing by slowly drawing over and over the same line. Sometimes what we want to do is not have um, a solid dark line. So let's go ahead like this, right? So sometimes, you know, when you're doing a line, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily need to be solid. What you wanna do is have the opacity a little low, maybe the, the flow, let me trim down the size and I can slowly build out the drawing. Take that down, boom, and see now it gets darker and it's like, cool, that's the line that I want. I can really draw. So let's see what this looks like. So this looks like a regular line. This has more of a pointy front and end. And let's take a look. Yep, even if the two settings are still on right here. These are what we call variations that affects the size. And, uh, but when I use this one, there aren't any variations. When I use the, the hairline pen, yep, no variations. This one does have variations, look at that, yes. The harder I press, the thicker it gets. It doesn't get any darker unless I, I draw over and over again. The ultra fine point, let's, see, let's go ahead here. Ooh, it's huge on there. Let's go ahead. and the hairline pen. Now, if I was going to color in this piece, let me get rid of that layer. We'll have a, a whole video about layers eventually. Uh, keep checking the videos as we publish. So now I'm gonna put a layer right here and we'll have a layers lesson also. So on layer, on layer two, we have a blank. So let's go ahead and get this uh, brush, turn it up, turn it up, go right here. It's the wrong color. So let's go ahead and change that color. Put that right there. quickly shade some of this in there we go I, we know that here well you know I, I say we know because we've done several videos where we've gone through the through the tools and so we have anytime you click on these uh, settings icon here on the right hand side it'll take you to this side 
options. And so we can change a lot of things here that we that we don't have access to here. So the feather, I don't want any feather. What happens? Is it stronger? Yeah. That's one of the things. I like super sharp lines. So then, and I'm, uh, you know what? I, what I need to do is restore and make that simple. Make a new one. There's a plus. Boom. So now I have a copy and it went all the way to the end. Bold pin. Bold pin. You see? Bold pin. But now this one I'm going to change. We call it bold pin. I think it's the number two. There it is. Just go like that. Boom. Bold pin two. I'm going to leave the stroke background alone. And now I can change the shape of the lines that I make. But also the profile. I want it really sharp. Ooh, that's the, that's the sharpest. That's the very pointy. There we go. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, bold pin does that. Sometimes I don't see a whole lot of changes. Come on. Settings. Oh, what about that? So now I'm getting a little bit more of uh, jagged edges here and if I was to add a whole bunch of a new texture and I guess oh there we go so depending on the shape that I choose I get a whole lot of a long different a long list of different settings that I can adjust there we go oh see this is cool I like that I like that but once I make it bigger let me see ooh <laughs> oh, yes that's cool let me go back to this one this is the one I want I want it pointy my diameter, my roundness, my feather, turn that off, my angle, my spacing. I want no spacing. What happens with that? Let's see the scatter. Please try out the tools, the settings, make adjustments and see what is it that you like about one brush versus the other and all the different little differences that you can make to go ahead and make that tool brush yours, right? This is Digital Drawing in Sketchable with DTM, and I hope that today's insights will help you expand your digital drawing creativity. Please like, share, and subscribe for more Sketchable insights. See you next time.